December 19th. Today we keep the memory of the holy martyr Boniface. Martyrdom for Christ makes sinners into saints. This is shown by the example of St. Boniface. He was at first a servant to a wealthy and dissolute woman, Aglaïs, in Rome, and had unclean and unlawful relations with her. They were both pagans. Aglaïs evinced the desire to have the relics of some martyr in her house as an amulet against evil, so she sent her servant to Asia to find and to buy for her what she desired. Boniface took some slaves with him and a fair amount of money, and at the moment of parting said to Aglaïs, If I can't find any martyrs, and if they bring you back my body martyred for Christ, will you receive it with honour? Aglaïs laughed and called him a drunken old sinner. And so they parted. Coming to the city of Tarsus, Boniface saw many Christians undergoing torture. Some were having their legs cut off, some their hands, others their eyes put out, yet others were dying on the gallows and so forth. Boniface's heart was changed and he repented of his sinful life of tears. He called out among the Christian martyrs, I too am a Christian. The judge took him for interrogation and ordered that he be harshly flogged, then that boiling lead be poured into his mouth, and as this did not harm him, that he be beheaded. The slaves then took his body back to Rome. An angel of God appeared to Aglaïus, and he said, Take him who was at one time your servant, but is now our brother and fellow servant. He is the guardian of your soul and the protector of your life. Aglaïs went in wonder to meet them, took Boniface's body, built a church for his relics and placed them there. She then also repented, gave away all her goods to the poor and withdrew from the world, leaving a further fifteen years in bitter penitence. Saint Boniface suffered in the year 290. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. 
For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants, and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayers save our souls, since thou art merciful. O thou who hast born of the Virgin, drown thou, I pray thee, the three parts of my soul in the depths of dispassion, as of all thou dost drown the mounted captains of Pharaoh, that in the mortality of my body as on a timbrel I may chant a hymn of victory. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. With a fervent mind, O this rival, the struggles of the noble athlete, striving mightily, O sacred Boniface, and with thy life-bearing contest, O sluice, the serpent, O companion of the holy angel. Holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Seeing the enemy's delusion, truly overrunning the earth, O noble athlete, thou didst enter the stadium with a fearless spirit and a soul aflame with divine love, O thrice blessed, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, shining with divine wisdom, thou mayst foolish the unwise adversaries by proclaiming Christ, who in the grossness of the flesh became like them, unto whom he had will to appear, O blessed Boniface, much suffering martyr, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us praise in songs the Holy Virgin, the mountain of God, which Daniel foresaw, the noetic tabernacle, the venerable tablet, the sanctuary of glory, the table that held the divine bread. She who was barren has given birth, even the church from among the nations, and the synagogue which abounded in children has become weak. Wherefore, let us cry unto our wondrous God, Holy art thou, O Lord. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Longing for the freedom that is on high, O glorious martyr, thou wast delivered from the yoke of servitude by emulating the sufferings of him that became of servant because of his mercy, O celebrated Boniface, O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Thou hast made superior to the carnal mind through a divine change. Thou didst gladly endure the sudden general assault of the enemies, O martyr Boniface. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst deny thyself, and went forth to conflicts and wrestlings with the enemy, made strong by the weapon of the cross. And being victorious, thou wast glorified, O martyr Boniface. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, the transcendent in essence, emptied himself within thy womb, without leaving empty the bosom of the Father, O all blameless Virgin. And he became thy Son, that he might save mankind. Since thou didst honor God, thou by him hast been honored, a boniface most blessed, the adornment of martyrs. For he has now set a crown of divine glory on thy head. Wherefore on this day we all festively honor thine all holy memory we ask thee with fervor to pray to the Lord for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy Maker and thy God, the Creator of all things, Thou heldest in thy womb, and not suffering corruption. Thou gavest birth unto him by the Holy Spirit's grace. Glorifying him, we sing thy praise, O pure virgin, as the palace of the King of glory, O lady, and ransom of all the world. Out of love for thine image, thou didst stand affixed to the cross, O compassionate one, and the nations melted away. For thou art my strength and boast, O thou who lovest mankind. 
O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Deeming blessed the endurance of them that were contesting, O martyr, thou became like them through imitation of their venerable sufferings, O godly minded and all blessed Boniface. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thou, thou madest haste with faith to gather up relics of divine martyrs, it was thyself that thou sent back to thy longing lady as lady worthy of wonder, O all-blessed and godly-minded Boniface. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rendered shining like gold in the furnace of tortures, O martyr, thou wast refined to great purity, bearing the impress of the Creator's suffering. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Receiving thy virginity to be sealed, even after childbearing, O maiden, Thou didst magnify in faith the word who was inexpressibly born of thy loins. Send down upon us thine enlightenment, O Lord, and free us from the gloom of transgressions, O good one, granting us thy peace. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Thou didst rise out of the west like a bright beaming star, and having said in a steadfast contest, O martyr, thou didst dawn forth again upon the west, Lighting up the uttermost parts of the earth. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Thou fought with mighty Rigvala, O martyr, enduring the piercing of thy nails, the sharp reeds, and blunting by grace all the stings of the evil one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The enemy's machinations against thee were made powerless, O godly minded Boniface. And in thine unrelenting striving towards God, thou bearest the tortures of the flesh as thou fleshless. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, I cry to thee, wash away every stain from my soul, and save me, thou who gave the body to the true God and Saviour upon the earth. When the prophet Jonas prefigured thy three-day burial, he cried out in supplication from within the sea monster, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, thou King of hosts. Holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. When thou wast beaten with the wounds of thy flesh, thou didst solely wound the ungodly, who were incurably diseased with ignorance, O athlete Boniface, and thou wast revealed to be a healer of the ailing. Holy Martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Lifted up to God by the vehemence of thine agonies, thou didst dash down in pieces thine invisible foes, O blessed prize winner, becoming a helper of them that are broken down. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. While dragged upon the ground like a very precious stone, O God-bearer, Thou didst pull down the stronghold of error, and made the hearts of the faithful yet more strong in faith. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The blazing bush that was in no wise burned prefigured thee in former times, O all pure and all him virgin. For thou, like it, was not burnt when thou gavest the body unto God. Thou didst offer up thyself of thine own choosing as a spotless sacrifice to him that for thy sake, O saint, shall soon be born of a virgin maid, O all-renowned and wise crown-bearer Boniface. Even as the star in the east guided the wise men from Persia, so also did divine inspiration guide thee from the west, O godly of mind, that unto Christ, who was pleased to be born in a cave, thou mightest offer worship as to the King of all creation, and mightest bring him gifts, faith, and love, and hope as frankincense and myrrh and gold. Hence thou didst offer him thy whole self as an unblemished gift, boldly crying and shouting unto the tyrant judge, I am a servant of my Christ, O wise crown-bearer Boniface. O wise crown-bearer Boniface. Once in Babylon the children of Abraham trampled upon the flame of the furnace, crying aloud in hymns, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. 
O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Since thou didst not bow the knee to carve and stone, O martyr, thou wast cast into a very great furnace of trials, and therein bedewed thou didst cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. The crafty schemer, giving diligence to undo the temper of thy confession, mercilessly poured boiling lead onto thine entrails, but he was put to open shed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst readily endure the cutting off of thy sacred head, thou didst arrive in twain the treacherous enemies while he had, with the sword of thy bravery, O godly-minded martyr of Christ. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That I may lord thee with a joyous voice, O maiden, rescue me by thy intercessions from passions, perils, tribulations, and evil thoughts that seek to do me harm. O almighty Redeemer of all, when thou didst condescend unto them that remained in true religion in the midst of the flame, Thou didst be do them and teach them to sing, O all ye works, bless ye and praise the Lord. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Working to the profit of thy salvation of Boniface, Christ strengthened thee, as thou seekst the relics of the right victorious martyrs to become that which thou in faith dost seek. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Thou wast given back as blessed treasure to thy blessed lady, O blessed Boniface, and she made rich therewith, chanted with a joyous heart, O all you works, bless and praise the Lord. Holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. The renowned woman, taking pains to raise up a most sacred table, laid thee to rest therein, O Boniface, prize winner of Christ, who thyself became the temple of the divine Trinity. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Slain for the Creator's love, thou dost heal by thy life-creating intercession them that fall into the deadliness of passions, and they cry, O all you works, bless and praise the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When God transcended and descended upon thee, the pure on, O virgin, he became flesh as he himself knows, and he deified mortals who sing, O all you works, bless and praise the Lord. He by the disease of disobedience brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth the blessing for the world. Wherefore we all magnify thee. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Thine ever-memorable lady Aglaeus, beholding thee a sacred freight, rejoiced, crying out, I sent thee forth a servant, O blessed Boniface, and I have received thee back a true master, who by thine acceptable supplications delivers me from bondage to evil deeds. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for Thou us. hast flowered as a lily in the mystic veils of the martyrs, O Boniface. Thou art raised aloft like a palm tree, thou art known to be a cedar, breathing forth sweet balsam. Thou art a chosen cypress, making our souls fragrant. O holy martyr Boniface, pray to God for us. Today thy memory is risen upon us like the sun, enlightening with the splendor of divine gifts the souls of us who praise thee, and driving away the gross gloom of passions, O praiseworthy prize-winner and godly-minded martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst dawn like a sun out of the west, and didst arrive at a city in the east, where thou didst set in martyrdom, and art risen up again to a better life, being come to famous Rome, which thou dost wall about with thy prayers. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Illuminate me with thy light, O all blameless Theotokos, suppressed as I am in the darkness of sin, and grant me to walk in the day of the divine commandments, O bride of God, that I may praise thee, the all-praised. 
Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and honor the protection of the holy, life-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God. Sisoes, the great Brandon, the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Boniface of Tarsus and Aglaias of Rome, with the prayers of Saint Samson and Saint Manor of Scotland and those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and all the saints have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us.